y'all it's may we're doing another body painting today today is a pop art zombie so you can see i kind of already have an outline of what i'm gonna go for on my body i'm just only my teeth just so i have a guideline before i start actually filling that in with white it is the same thing on both sides um then i just filled that all in with white i'm using made you look um made you look spy paints in the shade yeti neptune cherry and sunflower and then um as far as the liner that i use is nyx epic ink liner and then i also using a white liner from them as well i just was gonna get all what i'm using out all beginning so that way i don't have, i don't have to go wait what was i using that's what i'm using but anyways um so i'm just filling in all the spots that are the bones to begin with and I really love how this look turned out with all the little details and whatnot on it. It's so nice. Um, you guys are going on the ceiling whenever I go near my boobs because I'm not showing that on the stream, nor am I showing it on the tubes because that's against terms of service. <laughs> I was debating on using those blues. I didn't end up using those blues. Those are from Mayron. They just weren't the tone. Neptune was the tone. So you'll notice me start with that. I didn't like it. And then I use Neptune and that's what I'm using the rest of this time. Um, so the blue is blood. <laughs> if you wanted to translate this, the blue is blood, yellow is muscle and red is skin. Why? That is what my chat determined. And by my chat, I mean the chat decided that I was gonna have red skin. And then that we kind of had a discussion and we decided that like using a triad of colors with the primaries would look really cool and it did and i love it so as i said i'm using yellow or sunflower everywhere that the muscle is so it's gonna be around all the teeth underneath the eye sockets um my brain I painted that towards the end though but the brain will also be that and then in kind of the gap of where the ribs are, where there's not blood. Anywhere there's gonna be muscle, it's gonna be yellow. And then I'm having like that one side like ripped off on this, this zombie. So there's yellow on that side as well. And then just make sure behind the bone, you got the yellow as well. Cause it's kind of like it's ripped further but it's still, it's still muscle. It's not gonna go back to being skin. The skin is gone. The skin was cleared ripped off that area. And then here I'm just using cherry and just going over everything that wasn't covered before. But you're on the ceiling because I'm in the boob area. And as I mentioned, you don't, you don't get that. That's premium content that I will never show <laughs> to anyone. <laughs> So yeah, just put in the red everywhere. It's pretty simple. Pop art is very straightforward. It's basically like comic books and I love that. It's one of my favorite thing. I was kind of more referencing more towards the comic book era side of pop art than um, the Andy Warhol side of pop art. So yeah, just fill everything else that you didn't fill in before with red. And then we're gonna go ham absolute ham on the details using a liquid eyeliner i use nyx epic ink liner as i mentioned but you can use something else that's just the one that i prefer because it's a brush tip and the one that i particularly started using was already like broken like the bristles were like sticking out in places and then by the end it was just like what is what is there's no point it's it's a brush it's it's not a it's not a fine tooth <laughs> liner anymore it, it's it's a paintbrush and it looked it did phenomenalist phenomenalist that's not a word um we're creating a thing D ignore that i'll just talk while this is happening so the goal of, of what we're going to be doing is just lines on lines on lines and i'm using also oh i forgot to mention i'm using um a little bit of black eyeshadow it's from the color pop um stone cold fox palette again it's just you can probably find an individual black shade or any black you have will work just as well for that but i'm just outlining literally every feature 
because that's part of the pop art thing. They don't have to be like, like done nicely. You can have just lines everywhere and everything is shaded with the one thing. Um, I'm now using my left hand because chat decided that I wasn't allowed to use my right. So things went a little bit off on the teeth, but we fixed that once we got back to our right hand. And then as I said, we're just adding all of your shadows are gonna be black with just the pen, so however you want that to look, just use your liner and go ham on it. I ended up doing kind of wrinkles and like some cracks on the teeth and then just tons of shadows and just kind of smudges just every which way around where things were just to give it some depth and some texture. Even though it's technically art, like it's, two, it's 2D, it's not 3D. That's what I kind of used to do that. And then you don't, it's not really part of pop art of having like an actual like gradual shadow. Everything's supposed to be from the pen. But I did end up using some black eyeshadow just in some places to push some of the art down further. And you'll see that when I get to the yellow area. Um, but yeah, so we're just going off of adding blood giving myself some brain textures, which we decided was a peanut brain. We all have peanut brains here. It's a zombie. They're, they're, they're dead. They're peanut brains. <laughs> I absolutely love how this look turned out. I had so much fun doing it. I just was going ham on it. Cause I was just like, I can just go on details and just like do like random squiggles everywhere. But oh my God. Think of how terrifying this was if I switched it from pop art style with like the bright colors of the red, blue, and yellow and did realistic zombie colors. That would be so terrifying. Like if I made this like did it again, but like did it realistic. Oh my god, it would be horrifying. That'd be awesome. <laughs> my mom would hate it, but I would love it. As I said, I'm using some black um eyeshadow in places. Th that's really not part of the style, but I just wanted, like, if I felt weird not using any shadows, so I added it in just a few places. If you hear Nomage in the background of my microphone right now, Pixie's chewing a bone, and I apologize. Sorry, she's chewing an antler. <laughs> not a bone. But yeah, so I ended up adding black shadow in just some spots to just kind of, like, make things a little bit more, have more depth. But I still use the black liner just to make it like that. And then I used a white liner as well to give some highlights on like the blood, on the nose, around some of the bone fixture, just sporadically on the thing. Like, it's just, there's no rhyme or reason to some spots. They just have highlights where they have highlights. The blood has drips. Things are pop arts. There's just lines everywhere. If you don't think you don't have enough, if you think you have enough details, no, you don't. Add more. This is one where you can go ham. I give you permission. Go ham. Have a ham of a time. You want to add a highlight? Add a highlight. You want to add more shadows? Add it. You want to give your boobs more de definition? Sure, go ahead. No one's stopping you here. <laughs> Cause no one stopped me. <laughs> I, I don't know what to do for the narration on this. I'm literally just squ squiggling, squiggling, squiggling. Why can I never speak while I'm narrating? And I don't like doing multiple takes. If you guys have never noticed, I don't do multiple takes. I do one take and whatever happens and comes out my mouth is what goes in the video. That's it. It's a train of thought as I watch back my video sped up. My video, my stream, my stream at like 1,000 times percentage. <laughs> so yeah, just adding lines of shadows everywhere. I don't know why I put a bone in a sense where bones are very obviously drawn out on the elbow side. Like that technically should have been white and like connected to like the arm bone but it's not i don't know why i just didn't connect them and you know what i kind of like it anyways but yeah in theory that should 
be a bone that connects to that, but I didn't do that, so that's fine. And then I'm just adding some mascara and then some false lashes. These are the ones I normally always use. I can never pronounce it. It's in the description if you guys are curious. Um, and then I'm just touching up the eye socket with a little bit of red um, eyeshadow and then more liner just because it was getting a little spacey. Adding some highlights on my face just to match the rest of the body because I didn't have that before. And then just adding a few more lines because I felt like I didn't have enough. As I said, if you think you have enough details, you don't. Add more. No one's stopping you. Have fun. Go ham. I don't know why I did the shadow like that there. You're not going to see it in the picture, but, like, I did that anyways. And then we decided that, um, because I didn't want the bangs, because this is from Coraline, because I wanted the brains to be shown, that I was going to add a bow. And I don't, I only have black Sharpies, a silver Sharpie, and then a teal Sharpie for some reason. Those are the only colors I have. So, I outlined it in black, and then I took my dry erase markers that I use on my whiteboard calendar that kind of tells me like what day of the week it is because otherwise I will literally forget even though I look at a computer all day and I made the bow red and then I took the white liquid liner and did that as the highlights I did not allow it to dry use scotch tape to try sticking it to a pin that I had and then I tried touching it up but it wouldn't stick so I decided to pull out my Gorilla Tape tape it directly onto the, the the clip, touch it up one more time, and then that's what in with my hair. And this is the completed look. I hope you all like it. If you did, give this video a big old like, subscribe to see when I put out new videos, and I'll see y'all later. Bye!